I've noticed uh, some technicians are often talking about the most common fold in a laptop motherboard. Well, I want to do a similar video, but with another outcome, unfortunately. So the most common fold, in my opinion, with uh, somewhat recent devices, let's say from Intel fifth generation processors. So around the, the last six years, seven years, let's say seven years, the most common fold, what do you think could it be? This board has its fold. Well, it has some other folds too, but it has its fold. Um, let's check what it does. Power on the charging port and nothing happens. No consumption, nothing. So what do you think? Does it has a shorted main power rail? Let's check. So this is a special design, which is called NVDC. We don't have a schematics for, but um, yeah, basically the main power rail is stepped down to a lower voltage, and um, yeah, is created from this area here. And when I check this capacitor here, I get 12.6 volts. Come on. Twelve point six volts. Let's check at another point. Maybe here is another tantalum capacitor. Twelve point six. So this is our main power rail, and it is present. So what could be the issue? Bad power button. Let's check. Pin one is ground. And pin 2 has 3.2 something. Power button is working fine. What's the issue? Do we have some heat here? No. The board is stone cold. Let's try to power on the board. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. So what, what do we have here? Do we have an issue with the M controller? Well, could be, but we forgot about the most important thing here. The, the most important basic, the overview of the coils. So we have to, to check the coils first, whether we are healthy from, from experience. So here we have uh, the info NVDC design, resistance, the NVDC circuit is good. What else? Here we have coil, kilo ohms, wonderful. Here we have a coil probably related to memory around 500 without, um, without modules. So this is okay. When we have another rail here, probably related to the CPU, 105 ohms. I wouldn't worry about that. Well, let's check the CPU circuit itself, GFX. 10 ohms, core, 7 ohms, also good. So what else? This is also core, 7 ohms something. And this is system agent, also related to the CPU, 26 ohms. When we have a coil here, Oh, well, short. 
Let's check further. Next call. A full short. Next call. Short. Well, the third call is uh, something in addition, maybe uh, another issue, but these two here. I can tell you, these two here are the power rails for 3.3 and 1.05 volts. What do you think means that? They are related to the PCH. Check again. Point two. Point three. This is a full short to ground of both rails. And uh, this is a classic way how the PCH dies. You can simply measure at the, at the coils. Let's uncheck. So here we have the PCH die. So we set our P0 to 1 volt. We don't exceed 1 volt simply since we are not sure with what rails we are dealing here, A and B, whether we have shorted rails together. So we want to be so we want to stay safe and use just 1 volt or maybe even lower. In the CPU and GPU circuit, I wouldn't go above 0.7, uh, 0 0.7 volts. So, let's check what we got. Let's check what we get with voltage, voltage injection. So, this is a 1.05 volts coil. Most likely, since uh, the location near the PCH die here, and then we have the second shorted coil. This is probably the 3.3, and here we have also, in this case, we have also the five volt, the five volt coil shorted for some reason. Um, can't tell right now. Isn't important right now. Uh, we want to con we want to concentrate on the most common issue on a recent Intel board. So let's inject here and observe what the PCH does. One volt, three amps. You see? Injecting, not injecting, injecting, not injecting. The PCH die is clearly getting hot as hell. You will burn your finger sooner or later. So this is a no fix. The most common issue on a laptop motherboard is a mono fix. So I don't want to, to steal your illusions, but that's the truth, at least from my experience. You will, have, you will get tons of dead PCH, CPUs, GPUs, and um, well, um, I have uh, written down my um, cases to summarize uh, what I could fix and uh, uh, what not. And uh, well, it is, uh, in fact, I think I'm not bad, meanwhile, but um, the fix rate is maybe at around 60%, where I have simple folds, more simple folds and easy, easier to solve folds. And the other 40% are dead BGAs, dead ball grid arrays. And you can't do anything if you, if you don't have a... Uh, yeah, well, uh, a decent uh, BGA rework station for 
ten thousands, twenty thousands of euros or dollars. You can't do anything. This is a no fix. Okay. So I hope this video was interesting and um, you get some informative and you got some informative insights. Um, don't be disappointed. There are still many boards you can fix, but the most common issue is, in my honest opinion, a dead board grid array. Most often you can uh, measure it at the coils already, at the 3.3 or the 1.05 uh, rails, or for the CPU at uh, VCC core, VCC system agent. This is a, this is a common way they fail. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.